Yes, you can, but you can't hide. Realize your dark side, it collides inside. You run as fast as you can. Oh, really? Should I ever wrote? Mhm. Mm I would have to say probably that song that ain't make the album. And on the dark side, collides inside. Yeah. Realize your dark side, it collides inside You run as fast as you can, but you can't hide Realize your dark side, it collides inside You run as fast as you can Inner soul, dark and light, fight for the control Nobody knows, inner soul Oh, dark and light, fight for the control Don't anyone know, don't anyone know Money is happiness, cap Bitches got faithfulness, cap And drugs only make it worse, cap I take a perk, then I take me a nap Take a sip of the syrup when I'm trying to relax Bitch, I'm ready for what when the demons attack Hell yeah, believe that Yo, what's good? It's Juice World, And of course, you're here with my reality I had one job, I had one uh, legal job. <laughs> uh, that's wild, this dude right here got me the job. That's wild, you just so happen to be sitting there. <laughs> this is my cousin, he got me my first job. My only, my first and only job at a car factory on some, um, on some eight mile shit. Some B-Rabbit shit. I was uh, making car parts and shit. I made them little handles that be inside of people be putting their clothes and holding on to when they think they finna die and shit. I made them handles and then, yeah, I probably worked there for like two, three weeks. Y'all nigga got fired. I fuck with him though. All this old shit, I fuck with him. So old, heavy, like, I never meant to give you mushrooms, girl. I never meant to bring it to my world. That shit was fire. You know, my fa one of my favorite songs, I can't do the verse though. It's like I got mushrooms, I got acid, I got tabs and acid tablet. That shit hard. But um, I got you though. I'm what he say? I'm cancerous, so when I did, she wouldn't want to answer this if you responded back with a battle rapper wrote for cannabis. I strangle you to death and I choke you again and break your fucking legs till your bones poke through your skin. You beef with me, I'ma even the score equally. Take you on Jay Sprinkle and beat your ass legally. I get too blooded off a of funny home. What'd he say? Cause when I smoke out, I hit the trees harder than Sunday Clomo or something. He say, if I said I never did drugs, that would mean I lie and get fucked more than the president does. Hillary Clinton tried to slap me and call me a pervert. I ripped the fucking tonsils out and fed a sherbet. My nerves hurt. Lately, I'm on edge. Grab vanilla ice and rip out his blonde dregs. Every girl that's ever gone out with me is gone less. Follow me and do exactly what the song says. Smoke weed, take pills, drop out of school, kill people, drink, then jump behind the wheel like it was still legal. I'm, I'm dumb enough to go in the store and steal. So I'm dumb enough to ask for a date with Lauren Hill. Some people only see that I'm white, ignoring, still ignoring skill, because I stand out like a green hat with an orange bill, but I don't get pissed. I don't even see through the mist. How the fuck could I be white? I don't even exist. <laughs> that nigga killed that shit, boy. Just being such a uh, uh, a sponge as a kid and just absorbing all like the music and shit I would listen to, just, just cramming my head with it. Not really giving a fuck about school or homework or of really anything else besides music, you know, like just that's all I cared about. So it was, you know, it was, it was kind of easy for me to 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 remember all that shit. If that was like, you know, my only focus. Pretty much. Damn, I do got a lot of tattoos on the low. On the low key. All right, so the two ones on my hands are live life and um. Lost soul, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I have auntie on my hand. It's pretty, it's self-explanatory. Just being to yourself, just being, you know, just in your own head. Um, I got I'm sorry tatted on me. Um, it pretty much reminds me, like, 
to when you make a mistake to really, you know what I'm saying, to really like move on from that and realize your wrongs and the mistakes that you make. Um, I got selfless on this hand with the uh, it's cross of St. Peter, and people think this. I mean, most people think this cross means like. I guess people that are anti, that are strong and like being like anti-Christian or whatever, we're using this. But it really mean, it's a really sign of being humble and selfless. Um, this is my favorite skate brand growing up, the Zero logo. So I got that tatted on me and I put 999 on it cause you know, it's my shit. Um, This is Never Leave My Brothers, uh, uh, No Limit. Like it's just, uh, it's like the, like my family, like in Chicago. So, um, yeah, no vanity. It's, uh, self-explanatory. Um, I got this V-Loan tat. This, I got, I love all. Um, my shorty, that's our initials right here. So yeah, lovey dovey. Um, Abyss, that man right, me and that man right there pretty well. He made up Abyss, I, I joined it while it was in the making. It's just, you realize that you in the Abyss. Didn't I do an interview where I called somebody? This was him, I was, that was him that I called. Yeah, I called him. I, I was in New York, I called you. And 999 tag. Um, I have one that's not done right here. It's hellproof, but I actually like the way it is because it looks like it's been through some hell, but it's still there. So I'm gonna keep it like that. And, um, yeah, that's, that's it. I feel like just the way I care for somebody I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of good at giving, like doing romantic things, but like not really nothing like somebody could be like, oh, I bought a thousand roses and, um, you know, made a trail or some shit from, like <laughs> in the house, you know, like nothing like that, but just the way I am in general. And that if I actually get around and like loving somebody like this, it's like real. So I feel like that in general and my music when I, when I talk about it in music because I'm, I'm able to explain myself and talk about it in, in whatever, you know, in whichever way I want to. So it gives me a lot of room to really explain the way I feel. I feel like people could um, talk for eternity on what they think love feels like or just come up with analogy after analogy on what it feels like, but it's nothing that you say could really like describe the feeling. We just like I use the best words that we can to, you know what I'm saying, to talk about it. But I feel like it's just something that you feel. And you know what it is when you feel it. And nowadays people are smart enough to make you feel it, but it not be that and it be like some ulterior motive, like fake love, but you know, like somebody could think it's love, but it's something else. But when you feel love though, like you know it though. Everybody know what love feel like. I feel like, no, nah, I don't want to say that because not everybody, if you had a mom, mom and dad, or mom or dad, like a good parent that raised you well, and that, you know what I'm saying, love you like they own, you, you know what love feels like. You know, obviously relationship love is different, but when you have a good relationship with your parents, you know for a fact that that person loves you and that you love that person. You could be just as certain about, you could be just as certain about, you know, your partner, like, you know, for the fact that you love them, you know, for the fact that they love you. So, like, it's just a feeling. Like, you know what it is when you feel it. But if you've never felt it before, it'll tweak you the fuck out when you, when you feel like real love. What is this? Type shit. My message to the youth is to be strong no matter what you're going through. To, if you need help, Seek help, whether if you want a professional help, seek help and you know, surround yourself with people that'll help you, that'll listen to you, they got your best interests. 
Um, whatever you want to do in life, find something that you don't mind doing for the rest of your life. Find something that you like. And even if it seems like it's impossible, it's very, very possible. So don't get nervous. If you have a big goal, just chip away at it until you get to where you need to be. You know, when you were thinker, I'm the same way. When you were thinker, you look for answers that you know you can't, it's like, you're not gonna be able to get, you know what I'm saying? It kind of drives you crazy. Cause you feel like you should have these answers, but you don't. So you just try to think your way into a solution, but you can't find the answer. So like, I think that's what life is about. Truly finding yourself and then closing your eyes and dying in your sleep. Finding yourself and finding other things, but finding yourself is one of the things though, for sure.